Thank you both for joining us. So Dr. Alicia, let's start with you. A central point in tomorrow's argument could be fetal viability. Now that's the ability of a fetus to survive outside of the womb. Usually, according to Roe versus Wade, right, that was at 24 weeks of pregnancy. But Mississippi's law restricts abortions to just after 15 weeks. Can you please help us understand the argument here? Yes, so basically what we mean when we say viability, we're basically acknowledging the point that the period under which a fetus is able to survive outside of the womb. Um, and usually in medical terms, that's about 24 weeks based on the current technologies that we have available. Most of these abortion laws that we're seeing kind of come into effect are really trying to chip away at that by redefining what fetal viability means. So for example, we saw in Texas where uh, they wanted to redefine that at six weeks where their, the fetal heart rate could be detected. And in Mississippi at 15 weeks. So they're really trying to, in a way, redefine what that, what viability actually means. According to Dr. Adler, I mean, he made a great point. It's all about access to health care. It doesn't sound like it's cut and dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely not. This is definitely not a cut and dry issue. This is an issue that really intersects many different aspects of people's lives. Um, it affects our ability to make decisions about our bodies. Um, it affects our access to care, quality care. It affects our ability to have bodily autonomy. And of course, privacy, making decisions about our bodies amongst our family members and with our physicians. Um, in addition to that, you know, this raises the question about, you know, what are the circumstances under which individuals have to make this decision? And that is different for every person, depending on, again, where they live, the circumstances under which they became pregnant, um, and what if they have access to care or not. So there are so many nuances to this question. And I think, you know, providing these sweeping bans really is almost like a one-size-fits-all, but it's really a one-size-fits-none. 